What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize the title for your admin area for our app with Django and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at customizing the titles for our admin section. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, this is going to be a very quick and easy video today. I just want to talk about this admin area, and we've used this off and on throughout this little series here. And you can see up here it says club administration. That's normally not what it says. Right here it says club admin panel. That's not usually what it says. If you look up here in the tab, it says club admin panel browser tab title. That's usually not what it says. I've customized all these things. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't already. So Okay, how do we do this? Well, now you might think that this is all done in the admin.py file. We've done some admin stuff in the past. Uh, we registered some stuff here. We've done all of this sort of thing. I did a whole video on customizing the admin section, I don't know, 10 videos or so ago. So check that out if you haven't already. I just wanna sort of expand on that a little bit and show you how to change the titles of this really quickly. I got a couple of questions about it, so I figured I'd knock it out. So. Like I said, you think it would be admin.py, but it's actually not. It's actually the urls.py file, and it's the main one for our app. So it's not the urls.py file. If we click here, it has all of our URLs, right, in our events folder. It's not that one. It's the one in the original urls.py file when you very first started your Django app. This one gets created automatically, and it has just not much in it. So if you pull up a urls.py file and there's a lot of stuff in it, that's the wrong one probably. Right, we just want this basic one. And so we can just come down here and we can just add these changes. So first, let me head back over to the terminal. Let's go python manage.py run server. I'm in my C my club slash my club website, my virtual environment's turned on. And so let's run our server, head back over here, let's hit reload, and you notice it says Django administration, right? This is our admin section, localhost colon eight thousand slash admin. So if we log in. We see it says Django administration and site administration. So we want to change these things. Also up here it says Django site. Uh, there we go. Django site admin in the browser tab. We want to change that as well. So head back over to our code. And I'm in our urls.py file, the original one in our main app. And let's just configure admin titles. So to do this, we just type in admin dot site dot site underscore header and set this equal to anything you want. So let's call this uh, my club administration page, All right? So if we save this, head back over here, hit reload, boom, now up here it says my club administration page. So that's that, that's the site header. Now the browser tab is the site title. When you look at an HTML page, HTML code, the title tag is this browser thing up here. So we can change that. So Let's go admin.site.site underscore title. And this is just anything you want. I'm just gonna say browser title, just so we can see this. So let's save this, head back over here, hit reload, not that important. So right up here now it says browser title, right? It says site admin, it's got the pipe, and then browser title, right? So that's that. And then finally, this thing right here, site administration. We could change that as well. So let's come down here and go admin.site.index underscore title. And let's say, I don't know, welcome to the admin area, dot, 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 whatever. Save this, add back over here, hit reload, welcome to the admin area, right? Maybe you wanna take that out completely. I don't know, you could, I suppose. We could just do that, save it, come back. Boom, now it's not anything at all. So a super easy, let me just put this back here just to have it. So super easy way to make these changes. Now, if we log out, notice this is my club administration page. If we log out and then try and log back in again, now it says my club administration page up here. So that's kind of cool. Now, one more thing I will mention, all of this stuff can be customized. All of this CSS, all these colors, 
Everything can be customized here. I'm not going to talk about that in this video. I'm going to show you how to do it if you want to learn, if you want to play around with it on your own. But like I said, we're not going to do it in this video, but you can play with the CSS for all of this stuff. The problem is it's buried into your virtual environment directory. So if we come back here to our Sublime Text, and I close this, you'll notice we just have my club website and that's it. So if I come up here and go to project and remove all folders, right? Now let's add them back in again. So add folder to project. And now instead of doing my club website, let's go back a directory. So we're in C slash my club, you'll notice our virtual environment is, is in this directory. So if we add this, you can see now we've got this vert thing right here. Now, normally we wouldn't do this. We don't want this virtual environment stuff in here, but if you want to play with this, this is where it's located. So inside vert, inside lib, site packages, Django, and then, and then contrib, and then admin, and then static, and then admin, and then CSS. And you can see there's a bunch of CSS files. The main one is base.css, and here it is, right? So you could play around with this stuff if you want. Normally, you wouldn't really make the changes in here. You would make, you would create your own CSS, your own base.css file, put it back in your regular My Club website. Uh, let's see, probably in your events, we have a static folder. Have we done static stuff yet? No, it doesn't look like we have. You would have a static folder, you would create a base thing and then have it override this one. Uh, you have to do a few things to do that, but just to play around with it, you can come through here and sort of mess with this stuff. If you know CSS already, you can play around with it and that will change the look and layout of your admin section. So like I said, it's in the virtual environment, which is a little weird. Normally we don't add that to our app. We just sort of hide it in the background, but that's where that stuff is located. If you're interested, you can check it out, play around with it have fun, whatever. Uh, like I said, we're not going to do that in this video. I just wanted to show you very quickly how to change these titles in the admin page. Cause like I said, some people were asking me about it the other day. So I figured, Hey, let's knock out a quick video. And uh, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you'd like to be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube one to get $30 off membership. So you pay just $49 access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learn to code just like you. My name is John Alder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.